Before we jump in, I do earn a referral fee when you use the services and companies I demonstrate in the video, but there is no additional cost to you. I chose them because they're the best in the industry and you're safe with them. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a S-Corporation in Utah using Bazi, and I'm also going to review their service. They are one of the best entity formation platforms out there in the market that charges $0 for their service which no other company offers. After clicking the link in the description below, you will land on this page. After arriving on their website, hover your mouse icon on the service section and then click on the Form AS Corporation button. After that, click on the Start Now button, and from here the formation process begins. On the next page, select S Corporation as your entity type, and in the State of Formation option, hover down a little and select Utah. After that, you will see three packages from which you can choose to file your S Corporation. Silver Package is the cheapest option out of the three, and this is the package where Bazi charges $0 for their service. If you select this option, you simply need to pay the $54 state filing fee that you must pay even if you file manually. Some of the extra services that are included in this package are preparing and filing the articles of organization, unlimited name searches, free registered agent for one year, and unlimited phone and email support. No other business formation service will provide you with a registered agent free for one year without any charge like Bazi. The importance of a registered agent in forming a corporation is enormous, and without one, you simply cannot register as per the state's guidelines, which I will come back to in a moment. Next is the gold package which costs $253 and this is the package I highly recommend everyone to grab because it basically covers everything you will need. This package includes everything from the silver package plus other services like providing and filing EIN business tax numbers, form 2553, corporation bylaws, business bank account, tax consultation, etc. Remember that all the things that are mentioned below the gold package except for the tax consultation are required according to the state's guidelines in order to file a S corporation successfully in the state of Utah. So one way or another, you are gonna need these services, and filing all these out by yourself is gonna be tough. That's why, if you just grab this package, you don't have to worry about anything else. The Platinum Package costs $353 and is the most expensive one out of the three because it includes three extra services like business contract templates, free next day filing, and domain name plus business email. These services are like a cherry on top which will help you to complete your corporation filing faster. So, if you are in a hurry and want to complete your corporation filing as soon as possible then you can choose this package. According to my recommendation, I will just complete the rest of the filing process by going with the gold package. In the next section, Bazi will ask you to provide the personal information of the person who will be responsible for this S corporation. For the sake of creating this video, I will just provide a random personal information, but remember, you should always use your own verified information when completing this form. In the next part, provide the mailing address of the responsible person of the corporation. Remember, a P.O. box is not allowed in this case. It should be a verified address. Once you are done with this section, just click on the next button. In the next section, they will ask you whether you want an expedited filing service or not. Normally, if you form your corporation through them using the gold package, the typical waiting time is about three weeks. But if you select this service too, then they will process all your documents and legal formalities within 8 business days and file your corporation for an additional $50. Since I don't need this service, I will just click on the next button and move on to the next section. In the next section, Bazi is asking you to provide your corporation name and its designation. I will just type a random name and select Corp as a designator. Below in the orange label, Bazi will show you how your corporation name will be displayed officially. If you are satisfied with the name, simply move on to the next part. Now, select the number of directors your corporation might have. I will just select one for the sake of creating this video, but if you think your corporation might have more than one director then you can select as many as you like. Then, provide a short description or business purpose of your corporation within 100 characters. After that, select what type of industry your business is operating in. For the sake of creating this video, I will just type marketing and you will see a bunch of suggestions pop up. Select the desired one you think your corporation falls under and then you will find out the NAICS code of that industry to which your corporation belongs. 
NAICS means North American Industry Classification System, which is just a code or number for classifying which industry your business operates at. Putting this information is a must for creating a corporation in the USA. If you file your corporation manually, then you would have to find this code manually too on the internet. But using Bazee's auto-suggestion feature, you can easily find your NAICS code just by typing out your industry's keyword. Down this part, you will see your corporation's stock information. Here, you must list the amount of authorized shares that you intend to issue once your corporation has been registered. In this situation, I will simply authorize 1,000 shares and the price of each of these shares will be $1. The total number of shareholder will be 2 in my case, but you can choose more if you want. In the next section, Bazi will ask you whether you want to use their professional business address or your own business address. A virtual office is basically a virtual business office address that you can use as your business address in case you don't have any physical business location. I highly recommend you always use a virtual address and information for every business document you will create now or in the near future for security and anonymity. Never use your own personal address or the address where you currently live in your business documents, because once your corporation is registered, it will be made public and easily accessible for everyone. So anyone will be able to find you and trace you down which is a huge risk for you and your family. You can pick this service by just paying $29 extra per month. Once you have filled out everything correctly, just click on the next button. In the next section, Bazi will ask you whether you want three extra services by paying $149 extra. All these three services were included in the platinum package which I showed you guys at the start of the video. Since we chose the gold package, Bazi is asking us again as an upsell with a discount to pick the three additional services that were included in that package. If you think you really need these services, then click on the get upgrade and bonus button below. Because I do not believe these services are worth $149 and I do not require them to establish a S corporation, I will just click the no I will pass button and proceed to the next page. In the next section, Bazi will ask you to select the name and address of the director of the corporation. I will just select myself as a director and use Bazi's virtual office address as my address. Always remember to use the virtual office address as your and other key members of your corporation's address, as previously instructed. In the next part, Bazi will ask you to provide the name and address of your corporation's president or CEO, secretary, and treasurer. You can select yourself or another person in these designations. The process of filing out the name and address is the same as you did before and so I will just go through this quickly and select myself in all of these designations. These are the people who will be in charge of your corporation's day-to-day -day operation. If you still haven't decided who you will elect for these roles, then I highly suggest you decide that first and then fill out this form later on. Because changing this information later on would be a lot of headache and costly. Plus, filing out wrong information about your corporation's director or secretary might get your corporation fined and your company might also face legal charges. So, always move with caution in this case. If you are not sure what each of these roles means, then there's a short description of these roles above the selection menu. Below there is an optional designation to add a vice president. You can fill out the name and address of the vice president the same way you did previously for all the other roles. After filling out everything correctly, click on Next. On the next page, it's asking you to fill out the name and address of the shareholder plus how many shares you want to allocate for each of them. Since previously I declared that my corporation will have 1000 shares in total and the total number of shareholders will be 2, I will just allocate 500 shares for shareholder 1, put their SSN number, and click on Save. Similarly, for shareholder 2, I will also fill out his, her information and allocate 500 shares to that person too. After allocating the total number of shares between two people, you will see that there are zero shares remaining. If your corporation has more than two shareholders, then you have to divide those shares among them. Down below, it's asking you to fill out the legal representative information of your corporation. This is the person IRS will contact if they need any additional information. I will just select myself as the company's representative, but in your case choose someone who's in a top position in your company and can deal with these things easily. Once you are done with this, you can click on the next button. After that, Bazi will ask you whether you want to get a registered agent through them or not. Getting a registered agent is a legal requirement in order to file a corporation in any state. 
so one way or another, you are gonna need one. The Z is providing registered agent service free for one year and after that, it's $119 per year. So, I highly recommend you choose the free one-year option and then click on the next button. In the next section, Bazi is asking you whether you want to get an EIN and tax identification number or not. EIN or employer identification number is a nine-digit number issued by the IRS and this is a compulsory requirement for creating a corporation or LLC through your state. If you are from the USA, then just type your personal information, but if you are from outside the USA, then you have to file a separate SS4 application and you also need an ITIN in order to get an EIN which will take some time. The Z will help you to file the SS4 application too, so that you can get an EIN easily as a foreigner. But if you are from the USA, then just select yourself as the person applying for EIN and provide your SSN. I will just provide a random SSN for the sake of creating this video. Below, the Z will be asking you to provide the address of the person applying for the EIN. Just click on the second checkbox, use the assigned address that will be provided by the Z and click on next. In the next section, Bazi will ask you whether you will set up a small US business bank with Bank of America. Remember that this option is only available if you are a US citizen or are currently living in the USA. If you are from outside the USA, then you need at least one member of your corporation who has a physical residence in the USA to avail this service. I highly recommend everyone to pick up this service if possible. But, for the sake of creating this video, I will select on not this time option and click on the next button. Next Bazi will ask you whether you want to get a free tax strategy or consultation call with them. Always select the yes option because it will help make this clear how to run and operate a corporation and how to file taxes and lots of other things. After that, depending on the type or industry your corporation is about, Bazi will automatically find out if you need any other business licenses and permits or not. In order to operate a corporation that is in the marketing consultation industry in Utah, Bazi automatically suggested and figured out two licenses that I will require in order to operate a corporation. The cost of these two licenses is $99. For the sake of creating this video, I will just select the no option, but I highly recommend everyone to select the additional licenses that will be suggested to you and file them through Bazi because one way or another you will need these licenses to operate in that state. And, Bazi will file your licenses without you going through any hassles. After providing all the information, Bazi will take you to a review page where you can see all the information you provided so far. Here you can easily edit any of the things you like. You can also include or exclude any services you want from here. Once you are satisfied with all the plans, packages, and customization, you can click on the next button. After that, Bazi will show you your total due amount. Once you are done with the payment, they will start processing your order and you will receive your corporation formation documents within three weeks. So for just $282 in total, you can register your own S corporation today in the state of Utah. Personally, I think the price is fair since Bazi will be the one handling all the documents and registering your corporation on your behalf so you won't need to go through any of these hassles. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section and I will try to answer them as well as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.